And hello, Shock fans. This is your beloved Soldier of the Inverted Cross, Rip the Full Blown Freak Show. And today we're looking at the best leader class Decepticon the movies gave us. Star Screen. The Dorito on Chicken Legs. Now, let me go and say this. While I don't feel the Dorito look suited Star Screen in the movie, I think it's a great robot design. I just don't think it suits Star Screen. Um, so, I feel like a lot of people felt that, that Starscream is the one they sort of messed up in the movie. So, besides that, it is a good representation of how he looked in the movie. And it's a good toy, and it's a good robot in general. It's just not a good Starscream. So, let's pretend this is just Jet Man Dorito. We'll call him... Hmm. Jet Rita. Okay, so now Jet Rita here has a pretty nice head sculpt. Pretty freaking nice head sculpt. I like the tattoos on this guy. Looks great. Um, uh, and the sculpt is, like I said, the sculpt's really nice. And the gimmick. Your name's Jet Rita now. This guy's pretty awesome. Uh... Not a lot of, I mean, there's a lot of shit here on the back, but it sort of just blends in very nicely. Uh, scale, this is a big guy. Here's Jet Rita and Knuckles. Here's Jet Rita and Voyager Classics Optimus, who will getting, be getting reviewed at some point. And this is one of the big leader classes we used to get. So, how's this guy's articulation? Well, good old Jet Rita has got some good posability. Head can rotate left and right. Which is more than I can say for the Titans return, guys. You know what I mean? The arms are on this joint here that can move in and out. That's weird. And then he's got the elbow that can go this far up. Swivel. Swivel here. Elbow bend about that far. Hands can hinge up and down. Fingers can move in and out. The two two weird thumbs can do the same. Uh, sadly, no wrist. Huge, not a huge flaw, but I think it would have looked better if the wrist were, you know, able to be orientated. Obvious reasons. There's no waist. Now let's be real. We're not getting a waist feet, waist swivel out of this guy. Uh, the legs can kick forward very far. Can kick back pretty far. Can do the full split. Swivel. Or no, there's a, okay, knee bend. Not very far. Second knee bend for the chicken leg that goes forward. Um, swivel. Yeah, swivel right down here, so you still get one. Toes can separate and close together. They look better separated. This little piece on the back can hinge. And that's it for articulation, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm not missing too much. Again, I, I like the tattoos that Jet Rita got in the movie. Uh, as for gimmick, and I think this is a very, well, one of the gimmicks here is you press on this little red switch. And a little mini gun pops out, and on this side, I'll just force it forward. There you go. Missiles, and, and these are nice. These are nice little gimmicks. I felt like they really did a good job on that, and they don't intrude on anything. Um, again, it comes with these little missiles that you're supposed to peg on the hands, and somehow by pegging these on the hands, people say it makes it look like a G1 star screen. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I could totally, totally see it. Looks just like G1 Starscream. In fact, I don't even see the movie one anymore. I just see there, there it is. G1 Starscream, guys. Whoever come up with that thought, kill yourself, please. Now, while well, I unplug this from my robot's ass, and to me, this stands out as the most iconic Jet Rita. Scene from the movie. 
is when Jet Rita lands on the Hoover Dam to save Megatron, or to help save Megatron, and turns the hand into the big missile launcher thing, and starts firing missiles, and then you can cram this oversized dookie biscuit one in there and fire it, which I won't be doing, because, hey, you know what a jet, you know what a missile firing looks like, you're not stupid. And really good gimmicks, and the cool thing is you can fold this over, shove it right in his ass, and everything neatly stores away on the back. And apparently that's a, uh, yeah, that's the the joint. Okay, the other joint. Okay, so yeah, there's a rotation here. Sorry if I missed to tell you guys that. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I did. There's a lot of joints on this thing. And sometimes you get lost missing a little. Now, this thing sells for unbelievable prices on eBay. Um, uh, like, I mean, horribly unbelievable prices. And I got it on clearance for like 20 or 30 bucks. So, yeah. If you like, in all seriousness, if you like movie Starscream, this is definitely the best movie version we got. If you didn't, it's definitely not worth the pickup. If you're looking for a really good leader class, big, elect, good electronics, uh, complex transformation, just this is the one. This one's nice. It can hold a pose. It poses well. The only flaw, like I said, is the you know, wrist swivel. It's it's good. It's a good figure, and it's definitely worth a look, especially with like all the detail, all the like posability. It's nice, and like I said. The movie Starscream, some people liked it, some people didn't. Even though I, I'm not a guy who hates Michael Bay's designs on the Transformers. I liked a lot of them. I just don't feel this suits the whiny, sniveling, manipulative coward that Starscream is. This guy looks like he can kick some ass. He really does. And that's why I don't feel this suits Starscream. So, yeah. It's a good toy, and you should get one if you can afford it. Or if you already have it awesome so that's really all i could say about this guy and until next time this has been your beloved soldier of the inverted cross your name's jet rita signing off farewell